Hi friends. If you can see me, can you tap your head? If you can see me, can you tap your nose? If you can see me, can you grab your ear? Yay! Friends, I love learning about God with you. Can you remember what we talked about last week? We learned about the person who made us. Who made you? God made you. And God made me. And God made your mom and dad. And God made your friends. This God loves you. And he is an awesome God. And today we're going to learn more about this God who made us. friends, it's me, Lucy. I'm just having a sad day. Do you want to know why? I have no more film left for my camera. When I push the button, nothing happens. This camera needs film to take pictures. I won't be able to add any more pictures to the wall like Sophia. Wait, what? What? What is this? To Lucy from Ollie. Wow, Ollie left me a present. I'm so excited. Want to help me open it? It's film! Holly gave me film for my camera and now I can take pictures. I'm so happy! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Happy about my present, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ollie. That film was just what I needed. The best gift of all. 
The film was a nice gift for you. But there is an even better gift. Ho! Ho! Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm just in the mailman. Look at all of this mail that I have. Oh, and look at this fun gift I get to deliver. But today, I'm going to tell you about the greatest gift ever. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with, can you hold up one finger? Now take it and point it at you. Yes, today's true story begins with you. Did you know that God made you and you are important to him? It's true. Can you tell me what this is? A heart. That's right. It's because God made you and loves you with his whole heart. Now, make your hands go as high as they can go. Ready? Go! The Bible says God's love for us is so big. Now, stretch your hands out wide. Are you ready? Go! Yes, God's love for us is so, so big. That's a good job. You can put your hands down now. That's how much God loves you. And do you know what? God loves everyone in the whole wide world. You could live in this part of the world, or you could live in this part of the world, or this part. You could live anywhere in the whole world. God made everyone, and because he made us, he loves us. God loves us so much, he gave us Drum roll, please. A special gift. It was the very best gift of all. Do you know what that gift is? Jesus. God loves the world so much, he gave us Jesus. Wow, that is awesome. Can you repeat after me? God loves, God loves the world so much the world so much. He gave us, he gave us Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son and Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Wow. Take your pointer finger again and point to yourself. Don't ever forget that God made you and loves you so much that he gave you Jesus to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God sent us Jesus, the best gift of all for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, can you believe it? We are so important to God that he gave us Jesus. This film is a great gift, but Jesus is the best gift of all. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Can I take a picture of all of you? Can you do this with your hands? This looks like a heart, right? This reminds us that God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Ready? Say cheese! Wow, that was amazing. Great job, everyone. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I 
am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.
Our first activity today is called All the Feels. What you need is this emoji game card that your mom and dad can print out. And then you need a pair of scissors and some crayons. The first thing you'll do is you're gonna color in your emojis. So this guy looks really happy. We're gonna color him in. I want him to look just like the emoji. This guy looks really sad, so I think he needs a, a teardrop and maybe his eyebrows are gonna be blue. And then we're gonna do the rest of him yellow. And then this guy looks scared. So we're gonna do blue on the top, yellow on the bottom. And then uh, this guy looks mad. I think we need some red for this guy. Mad face. Perfect. So the next thing you'll do is you wanna cut these out so that you have four game cards to play with. And for this game, you need a partner and you're going to use these like a deck of cards and how you play is you're going to take these four cards and you're going to put them upside down so you can't see what they are and then you're not going to show any your partner what the cards are but you're going to pick the card up and you're gonna look at it and then you're gonna make the face that you see here and the person you're playing with has to guess what face you're making. For one of our activities today, we're gonna to be learning about all the places that we can pray. So for this activity, you need to grab four baskets and then inside of each of those baskets, you're gonna put some items. So. Basket number one, you're gonna find a pillow and a blanket from your bed, and you're gonna put those in basket number one. Basket number two, you're gonna grab some food. Go in your kitchen, grab some food, put it in basket number two. Basket number three, you're gonna grab some toys or games that are your favorite. Put those in basket number three. And basket number four, you're gonna grab some band-aids and um, maybe a doctor kit if you guys have a doctor kit and you're gonna put that in basket number four. So now that you have all four of your baskets set up, go into one of your favorite rooms and you're gonna put one basket in each corner of the room. And then I'm gonna teach you how you're gonna learn to pray in those places. This is Bowden. He's gonna help us with our next activity. So here you can see I got basket number one. I got a pillow and a comfy blanket. Bowden's tired. <laughs> then basket number two is ready to go. So I have some food in basket number two. And in basket number three, we have a mask and some band-aids. And in basket number four, what do we have in there, Bowden? In basket number four, we have some balls and some games. An example of what you could say when you're having nap time or going to bed is, Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my blanket and for my pillow. When you're playing games, you can stop and say, Dear God, thank you for friends to play with. Help us to have fun and play lots of games today. Amen. When you're eating, you can say, God is good, God is great, let us thank him for our food, amen. When you're feeling sick, you can pray, dear God, please help me rest so I can feel better, amen. So this week, you can practice this. You can pick a room in your house and grab some baskets and fill them with some of your favorite things and you can practice praying. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? 
Dear God, it feels so good to know that we are so important to you and that you gave Jesus to us to be our forever friend. I pray that as each of this, these children grow up and begin to wonder if they are really important to anyone, that they will remember how very important they are to you. I pray that each of these kids will remember that you love them with the greatest of love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I love being with you. Have a great week.